Today, we're breaking out the AEA Megalodon pump action 510 caliber with a 22 inch barrel. These come in a variety of calibers from 357 all the way up to 58, and they also have an optional 15 inch barrel. We're gonna be using this Texoma Precision Pellet 510 235 grain ammo, as well as this Nielsen 330 grain 510 caliber slugs. A big thank you to Tom at Bluegrass Big Boar for sending out this AEA Megalodon for me to try out. I haven't put too many rounds through this yet. Today is going to be the ultimate trial. We got tons of things to try out today. We have ballistics gel. We have groups that we're going to be doing at 30 and 70 yards. We have sodas. We got steels. We got stars. We got everything today. We got watermelons. We got cantaloupe. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to be comparing this also to the Umarex Hammer. It's the closest PCP that I have that's relatively similar to this so by the end of the video i'm going to determine whether or not my purchase of the umarex hammer was warranted or not i'm thinking it's gonna get destroyed by this i'm gonna go throw this on off camera and then we're gonna get started oh and last but not least this also has the hot swappable cylinders just like the s45 does these come with eight round mags the 510s i have four of the 330 grains and then i have four of the 235 grains let's put this on paper at 30 yards I'm going to put an X on the screen where I'm shooting. I don't like to aim for the bullseyes when doing these. I like to hit for a perpendicular spot so it's as small as possible where I'm aiming at. Time for the 235 grains. So those actually grouped a little bit better in that test. Maybe I gotta bump my scope just a little bit to the left. We're gonna do one more mag. After those eight shots, we are down to 3,000 PSI. Same deal, four 330s, four 235s. All right, those Texoma 235 seem to be the most accurate right now. Unfortunately, I don't have too, too many of them, so I'm gonna save some of those for when we do the test at 70 yards at the end. I'm gonna go top this off, then we'll do ballistics gel, chronograph readings, and Texas stars. First gel test, first star. 431 foot-pounds. Let's drop the big blue star with the 330 green. <laughs> Steel slamming goodness. Two thirty five green, second gel, second star. 418 foot-pounds. Red Star's turn. Can't argue with that. Let me load three more in real quick. I just saw leaves falling. I think I took out a branch. Now you've seen the high speed before me. I didn't even notice that that round, this, I'm assuming it's the second one, is flattened down and only made it halfway. That thing had so much energy. I'll have to wait till I see the footage myself. It's soda time. We got the 330s loaded up in this. We're going to be using those for the rest of this video until I do the 70 yard group. But for now, it's soda time.
Two more sodas, two spray paints. All right, I gotta do two more spray paints. Those were so dead, there was nothing left in them. Take two. Well, that was definitely cool. I think I'm on to something. This is a very fast-paced painting method. Half my table's blue and that plywood's blue. <laughs> the cantaloupes are up next. Then it's time for the watermelon. These warrants an extra eight rounds. <laughs> I was questioning why the 510s were just putting holes through and not doing much else. It's because it was split open like this and there was nothing left to blow apart. <laughs> I changed things up. We're going to do one mag of the 235s. I just want to see if the extra velocity will be more effective on the watermelon. I think that might obliterate the watermelon. Oh, last but not least, let's aim for the bunghole. <laughs> that certainly took care of it. So, compared to the S45 from last week, we're making watermelon smoothies. What will this AEA 510 Megalodon do to a center block? It crumbles it. Can't really argue with that power. Okay, we're back to 330 grain rounds. Let's see what this thing does to that dueling tree. I love slapping that thing around. We're gonna do the same thing we did last week with the Bintech S45. Second smallest seal on the left. All right, that has so much more power than the S45. We're going one over. <laughs> Damn. I mean, damn. <laughs> We're at 70 yards doing the grouping test. We're gonna be tethered for the first mag. What does tethering mean? It means that we have a reserve tank with an airline hooked up to the cylinder of this PCP so that we can maintain pressure the whole time. For the second mag though, I'm gonna take the tether off so you can see how much it's gonna drop. Now, if you didn't want it to drop and you wanted more consistent velocity, you can go the route of a regulator for these air guns. The regulator will cut some of the power, but you'll have consistent velocity until you reach a set pressure. So if these tanks are filling to 4,500 PSI and the regular is set to say 2,900, you're gonna have consistent shots all the way down to 2,900 PSI. I'm gonna aim for the intersection right at the neckline. I think that went far right. We're hitting far right, but I'm just gonna aim for the same spot so we can get a nice group. Great ass! 
I'm gonna aim for that far left line again, just so if we shoot right, it'll actually be on the paper. Then I went through the same hole. I can't explain that one, I have no idea. Now this is the Umarex hammer that I was talking about, comparing it to the Megalodon in the beginning. This thing is 510, and the Megalodon in 58 is pretty much the exact same power that this thing puts out. The only issue is even though this thing has a massive tank on it, you get three good shots. After the fourth one, the tank just bleeds itself out and you have to refill. So, four shots at around 600 foot-pounds. I put 16 rounds to this and it still had room to go. From the spec sheet, it says it has up to 24 shots. So, 24 versus three to maybe four max and then it empties the cylinder out on you. My only regret is that this didn't exist when I got that hammer. I never would have gotten the hammer over this. This thing is far superior. Now aside from those groups just being shifted to the right, I had to dial in the ACOG a little bit better. I didn't touch that at all. It was left at from what we did back there. The groups were pretty tight. I had that one flyer and I'm going to have to review the footage because I think on that first group we had a couple go through the same hole. Yeah, I know at least two went through the same hole, but I only see, you know, three or four shots on there. I got to check that out and just see what happened there and that's going to wrap things up with the AEA Megalodon with a 22 inch barrel and 510 caliber this thing is an absolute monster I'm more than likely going to have to trade out my Umarex and get this thing because there's no point in owning that hammer it's kind of obsolete compared to this and if you are interested in this or the ammo that I had featured in this video today check out the pinned comment below see ya